I brought you to my hometown of Catherine. Now obviously I'm pretty biased when it comes to this town, but I think it's an amazing place of the Northern Territory. Home to Cutter Cutter Caves, the Catherine Gorge and Nipmaluk National Park. There's lots to do, see, try and taste. Behind me here is the great Catherine River that runs through the heart of town and feeds so many of the farms around Catherine. And it's also a great place to take a dip or go fishing if you're that way inclined. Let's go have a look around this wonderful town of mine. Slim Dusty has a famous song, Ringer of the Top End. And Tom Curtin, who I'm about to meet, I think personifies all of that. He's an outback lad from around the top end and he's a horse breaker, country singer, dog whisperer, and as he'd like to refer to himself, jack of all trades. A stone's throw from Catherine's town centre, I'm here to talk to him about his life, what he does now with the Catherine Outback experience, and I also want to share with you one of my childhood recipes, scones. Tom, your reputation as a ringer in the top end is legendary. Everyone knows about your skill with animals. Tell me a bit about how Catherine Outback experience started. We had a bit of a vision, you know, as a little kid, we've always mucked around with horses mm. and dogs and things, but in the shows we give here, they're sort of live demos, and each show is different. I don't really yeah. know what a dog's going to do in the show. Nothing's really scripted, and so <laughs> it keeps it fresh, you know? Like last week I got bucked off in front of about 100 people, so, yeah, the crowd loved it, but Michelle was sure they did. <laughs> a little bit sore. But no, it's all about the psychology now, and uh, we're, we're working with different horses, different personalities, yeah. and then introduce these animals and that are all sort of a part of the top end up here. Well, I better let you get back to it. I'm going to whip up something that will remind you of the station. I'm going to check out your show, and I'll have a chat to you after. No worries, mate. That'd be great. Thanks, Tom. Cheers. Tom's just started his show. How exciting is that? It's so nostalgic for me to be here at the Catherine Outback Experience, seeing cattle, horses, dogs. It reminds me of the cattle stations I grew up with. And that's why I thought I'd share with you today one of my favourite recipes, a scone. I'm going to add some sultanas to it, which I think just give it that little bit of a different twist to it. But I do know we did this out on the station, so you could say it's authentic for someone from a Northern Territory cattle station. It's really simple ingredients here. Now, it just all goes into a bowl. I have some self-raising flour here. Got some powdered milk here. Now, I love to add powdered milk to my scones. It gives it extra richness because it has a high fat content. So with your recipe, you're probably used to kneading butter into it. This is my equivalent. A little bit of raw sugar. I like the caramel flavour you get from raw sugar. And as I said, some sultanas. And don't be shy with the sultanas. I love a scone with some sultanas in it. And in comes the milk. You mix your scone dough to start off with a knife. Now, this stems from not overworking the dough because if you overwork a scone dough, you get these tough little bullets and not really appetising. Tom, I could barely pull my eyes away from your show. I was enthralled the whole time. Your skill with the horses, the dogs was incredible. I did slave away over the camp did oven. You? And I, I don't know, you can be the judge of this. I know you would have had a few camp cooks in your day. I have. Look, I will go back to one of the things I was told all the time when I was younger. The camp cook's the most important job in the stock camp. It is, you gotta have total respect to the camp cook. <laughs> well, let me know what you think. It looks pretty impressive. You know, I don't like cutting all the scones out and having separately. I just like to be able to break it like that. That's pretty It's quite good. accessible. Now this is something, are you jam or golden syrup? Oh, I'm a bit of a syrup man. Yeah, lucky. I was yeah. gonna have to have words with you if you weren't. <laughs> Now this is someone who's seen his campfire or two. This is pretty bloody good, mate. Powdered milk. Really? That's the secret ingredient. Yeah, right. That is really good. Because some, honestly, some get really dry yeah. in the middle. And if it was a bit dry, I'd probably tell you. <laughs> <laughs> he would. <laughs> Thanks for having me today, Tom. It's been incredible. I know you're about to start another show. 
Everyone's going to love it. I thought it was incredible what you do in there, but thank you so much. No worries. Might leave my scone recipe so you can start serving it. Bloody hell, I might take the rest of that. <laughs>